Mats Madu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our world, Smart Do. Welcome our class 7s for today's CRI lesson. Now today we are uh, starting on a new topic uh, that is Christian in Action in Healthcare and Social Services. Christian in Action. You are already through with the topic uh, Christian in Action in Education. Now here, uh, these are very very important area whereby the church is involved in uh, taking care of people's health. Remember, this is one of the things that Jesus did. Wherever he went, he went healing people. And he was very concerned about the healing of people. Because he knew once he healed them, they would be able to concentrate in listening the word of God. There was no need of giving them the word of God, yet they were suffering in sickness. And so Jesus emphasized the importance of taking care of people's health. Now, what does the church do in taking care of people's health? It trains medical personnel. It uh, trains medical personnel in what we call the medical, the medical, medical training, medical training uh, colleges, medical training uh, colleges. So the church has set up, or different churches have set up tra medical training colleges where they train what you refer, those people you refer to as doctors, doctors, uh -huh. we have uh, nurses, uh -huh. we have uh, psychologists, all these are trained in some of the medical training colleges owned by the church. Now, some of these colleges that you have in our country include one that we refer to as the Loak Mission. The Loak Mission. The Loak Mission Hospital. Hospital College. So, again, you find that uh, these colleges are situated in hospitals that are owned by the church. So, therefore, the church, uh, apart from setting up hospitals, it requires the doctors to come and uh, treat the sick. So, one of them is uh, the Loaka Mission Hospital College. We have uh, Tenwek. We have another one called Tenweka Mission, Mission Hospital College. We have uh, another one in uh, Nyeri called the Tomotomo. This one is very, very famous. Tomotomo Mission, Mission Hospital Hospital College. You can see they are named just after the uh, hospitals where they are found. We have another one, very famous one, called the, the Mata Hospital. Hospital College. And many, many others that are found in and within our country. And they are used to train medical personnel. You don't have to be a member of a particular church to go and train there. So they ju you just apply, go there, and you are trained. And once uh, you organize, uh, you graduate, you can be either, you can be given a chance to work in those hospitals or you can find uh, employment somewhere else. Now, once the churches have trained these doctors, there are other things that they do. There are other things that they do. The doctors now go to the fields. The doctors, uh, the doctors go to the fields to work for the people in the community, to help uh, the people in the community. And once they are there, there are so many things that they do. One, they hold, they hold seminars. They hold seminars. Now, and in these seminars, they are going to train people. They are going to train the people in the community on how to take care of themselves, on basic health practices. They are going to offer also medical, 
medical services. I am sure you have ever seen churches holding what you call medical camps. They invite doctors from different areas to come and help the people in the community to give them medical checkups. So this is the work of these medical personnel who are trained for in these mission uh, hospitals. They also offer these hospitals. They offer medical care, medical care to the old. You know the old sometimes find it difficult to go to the hospital, and therefore the doctors are given that opportunity by the churches to visit home to home, to go from home to home, and take care of the elderly in the community. So let's therefore see what the Bible tells us about taking care or uh, uh, taking care of the sick. Uh, we are going to read from the book of Luke, chapter nine, verse one to six. Uh, Jesus sends out the twelve disciples. Now we read that Jesus called the twelve disciples together and gave them the power and authority to drive out all demons and heal and cure diseases. So one, as Jesus was sending out the disciples, Jesus sends out the disciples, he gave them power. Power to do what? To drive out demons. To drive out demons and heal the sick. Remember as we said earlier, Jesus was very much concerned about the sick. Uh, the other one we are told is that he sent them out to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. After saying to them, take nothing with you for the journey. No stick, no beggar's bag, no food, no money, not even an extra shirt. Whenever you are welcome, stay there in the house until you leave that town. And other people don't welcome you. Leave that town and shake off the dust off your feet as a warning. The disciples left the left and traveled through all the villages, preaching the gospel and healing people everywhere. So we can see, Jesus was very concerned about the sick, and he needed them to be taken care of. And that is why you find the church, the church, having set up medical schools in it, you are, uh, they are able to continue that work that Jesus left behind of doing what? of taking care of the people who are sick. And with that, they are following the example that Jesus set for them. And so as Christians, wherever we are, it is important that we always remember the sick. We always take care of them. As we preach the word of God, we should see that their medical needs are also taken care of as we pray for them and ask God to heal them of their diseases. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Have a good time. We shall meet during the next one. Goodbye.